These are the brand new 2023 BMW X330i's, but they both look completely different. Alpine white, Brooklyn gray. You may be wondering why they look so different. Well, the reason is the M Sport package. The Brooklyn gray is an M Sport color, only available once you add in the M Sport package, where the Alpine white has the standard X line package on it. Now I'm gonna walk you guys through what's different between the X line and the M Sport so that you guys know, is the M Sport worth the $3,500 price tag that it comes with. If you guys are in the market to purchase an X3, you guys want to stay tuned because this is going to be some valuable information for you. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Denver. I'm a client advisor here at Parkview BMW in Toronto, Canada. So if you're in the Toronto marketplace and you're looking to purchase a BMW, feel free to reach out to me on my email down below and I'll help you guys out. But other than that, let's get into the video. Okay, so let's get into it. The first thing that you're gonna notice is the exterior differences. So with the standard X line, this is how your front bumper is going to look. You're going to have the body color, black trim and satin aluminum along the bottom. So whether you're blue or black, the body color will change, but this matte black trim and the aluminum along the bottom will stay the exact same. Your aluminum grill in the center here for the X line coming around to the side. That black trim from the bumper carries up, comes up around the wheel well. We have these standard 19 inch wheels with the all season tires. That black trim runs along the bottom satin aluminum side skirt in the middle of that black trim that black trim goes around the rear fender wells ties back into the back bumper big satin aluminum all around the lower part of the back bumper and then wraps around on the driver's side as well you also have satin aluminum window surround matte black window trim right there and the satin aluminum roof rails along the top Coming into the mirrors, you have a black trim around the mirrors here, the matte black along the bottom and around here. Coming into the inside, this is the X-Line standard interior. So you're gonna have the gloss brown wood trim along the door. You're gonna have that in the center console. This is going to be the standard X-Line steering wheel, more of a thinner shape. The black pedals black BMW door sill. Those are the key things of what's gonna transform on the M Sport. All right, so we've done a pretty good look at the base X-Line X3. In my opinion, it looks very good, especially with Alpine white. Now let's head over to this Brooklyn Gray X330i and let's show you what's available when you get in the M Sport package. So it's big visual difference, right? X-Line has a lot of satin aluminum everywhere. You can already tell there's a lot of black over here on the M Sport. So we have the more redesigned, more aggressive front bumper, a lot of high gloss black in the center of the bumper here. Kind of looks like a mouth kind of biting down on the outsides here. Then the high gloss black vents all along the bottom. Now this one does have the high gloss black kidney grills, but I do want to stress that you can have an M Sport package and it can have the same kidney grill over here. Once you get the M Sport package, there's an upgrade, which is the high gloss black exterior content. The high gloss black exterior content does require the M Sport package first. So once you get the $3,500 M Sport package, you can then get the $350 option for the high gloss black exterior content, which is gonna be the kidney grills as well as the tailpipe at the back. Now, with the front bumper carrying around to the side, you'll see that the black trim that goes around the wheel wells on the X line is body paint match to whatever colors. Right now it's Brooklyn gray, but if that was black, blue, red, whatever you order, it's gonna be matching it around there. And that carries on along the side. We have all the body match side skirt that matches instead of the matte black trim coming around to the rear bumper. We have the more aggressive rear bumper with these divots in the side. And then we also have black trim along the bottom and a rear diffuser compared to the matte black trim and the satin aluminum. So you can take a look at the X-Line rear bumper and the more aggressive M Sport rear bumper. The next upgrade is the window surround. So you'll notice that we have high gloss black window surround as well as the window trim high gloss black and high gloss black roof rails at the top. 
coming down to the mirror, that gloss black carries over to all the mirror trim here as well. And the last things on the outside is the air breather at the front. So this is the black M Sport air breather versus the aluminum and matte black air breather on the X-Line and then the wheels. Now, this is actually not the standard M Sport package wheels. These are the optional 19 inch wheels that come with the all season run flat tires. And there's also the blue M Sport brakes behind. So see the larger M Sport brakes at the front and the blue M Sport brakes at the back. Now, just like the high gloss black exterior content with the kidney grill, you can also upgrade and get red brakes once you've got the M Sport package. The M Sport package does come standard with 20 inch wheels with summer tires, but these are a no charge option if you wanna get the all season tires with the M Sport package, because those summer tires you get, you need to get winter tires when purchasing those. Now let's take a look on the inside. So M Sport changes quite a couple things on the inside. The first thing is the trim. You go to this aluminum trim along the door panel as part of the M Sport package that also carries over into the center area. Down here is gonna stay black, just like on the X line. The next one is gonna be the M Sport pedals, the aluminum M Sport pedals here. And we also have the aluminum M door sill. And the last thing that you'll be able to see is the M Sport steering wheel. So you can see this is a much thicker design steering wheel here, much more aggressive with the small M logo at the bottom. All the functionality stays the same with the steering wheel. You just have that M Sport grip. Now with this one, the X3 comes standard with the M Sport seats in Canada. So the seat option isn't changing with the M Sport package. The last couple things that are going to change as well as the steering wheel, you also have the M Sport steering underneath. So that is everything. Last look at the M Sport X3 versus the X line. X3. All right, now that I've showed you guys the difference between the X-Line X3 and the M Sport X3, let me know in the comments below which one you prefer. Would you rather purchase the X-Line or maybe you like the upgrades in the M Sport package? Whatever it is, feel free to drop a comment and see what other people are saying down below of what they prefer. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, and I'll see you on the next video.